Patty from Georgia is up next. Hey, Patty, thanks so much for the phone call. You are live. How can I help? I recently found out that I have a fibroanoma, which is like a fibristic glandular benign tumor in my breast. Yeah. And the doctors recommended to pretty much take it out. But I've been doing research, and I have learned that even though I would have a surgery, there's a high probability of it coming back. So I was wondering what is another method that I could get rid of it without actually going under surgery. Well, you don't need to go under surgery, right? And you're smart and what you just talked about really underlines a very important point to ponder for people in the listening audience. The tumor, whether it's benign or cancerous, is not the disease. It is the result of the disease. The high blood pressure is not the disease. It is the result of the disease. The arthritic joint is not the disease. It is the result of the disease. The funky nerve in amyotrophic lateral sclerosis is not the disease. It is the result of the disease. But the MDs, because they're trained in a reductionistic method, don't care about that. They see a tumor, their job is to cut it out. They see an arthritic joint, their job is to to cut it out. But you're absolutely right. The surgery does nothing to eliminate the cause of the disease, right? It's like painting over the mold in your basement with paint. And even if it's glidden paint, the mold's going to come back because you have to fix the water intrusion into the house. And that's just common sense. And you would think that people who hold themselves up in the community as the champions of medical science, as the champions of human suffering, would know this. You would think it's elementary, but they do not know this. And this is a problem. So you are absolutely positively right now. Interesting enough, there's been some very interesting research done about this. Green tea is very effective at supporting and promoting healthy breast tissue, and I believe that the mechanism there is the antioxidant mechanism, right? Green tea is loaded with antioxidants. On my website, drglidden.com, I have an insider subscription service. It's 20 bucks a month, and I have over 200 hours of archived health webinars that I've done that you have immediate access to. I did one webinar on antioxidants, and I'd like you to become an insider and watch that because you you need, in my opinion, 100,000 ORAC points of antioxidants a day. You also need a little bit of extracurricular nutritional help. So let me line this up for you. But remember the webinar that I did. There's only so much I can say in three minutes, right? I did an entire hour-long webinar on this subject. You need to watch it and check it out. Okay, so oxidative damage makes things decay, get old, and die. Food goes bad because of oxidative damage. Fruit gets moldy and gets rotten because of oxidative damage. Iron turns to rust because of oxidative damage. Oxidative damage is everywhere all the time. It's happening in your body right now. And we believe that one of the mechanisms that leads to the formation of fibrocystic tumors in the breast is too much oxidative damage in the body. Now, you know, in some people, oxidative damage goes to the breast. In some people, it goes to the kidney. In some people, it goes to the right knee. In some people, it goes to the left shoulder. Nobody really knows why it goes here, there, or anywhere in different people. But but it's the same mechanism. It's oxidative stress, oxidative damage. Your body has a fire department that it uses to handle oxidative stress and to put the fires out before tissue becomes destroyed. So one of the major players in your body's fire department is the trace mineral selenium. You need to be taking selenium, and I'll tell you how much in just a second. In addition to selenium, it would be prudent for you to ingest food and nutritional supplements and and beverages which are high in antioxidants. Okay. Antioxidants, right, are measured by their ORAC score, O-R-A-C. Your recommendation would be 100,000 ORAC points of antioxidants a day, and I don't care how you do that. So what's your current body weight, Patty? How much do you weigh right now? 170. Okay, so here's what I would do for three months to support and promote healthy breast tissue, okay? I would get two Healthy Body Start Pack 2.0 liquid, four bottles of Ultimate Selenium, S like Sam, E, L like Larry, E, N like Nancy, I, U, M. And if there's still money left in the bank after that, four bottles of something called Z Radical. Z like zebra, radical. If you can't afford four bottles, get three. If you can't afford three, get two. If you can't afford two, get one. If you can't afford any, don't get it. But you need at least one Healthy Body Start Pack 
polyphenol liquid and four bottles of selenium. And of course, you, me, and everybody else are also advised, please, to stop eating the 10 bad foods. And interestingly enough, we believe that oil in a bottle is one of the major contributors of free radicals, which cause oxidative stress to the body. So we don't recommend you use any oil whatsoever. Eliminate all oils. Oils in a bottle are considered one of the 10 bad foods. There's nine other bad foods you need to stop. You can get that list for free on my website. So that's what I would do, right? I would take those supplements. I'd alter your diet. And I do it for 90 days, three months in a row. And remember, Patty, that from the holistic point of view, everything is connected in the human body. So even though, right, we are attempting here to support and promote healthy breast tissue, if you choose to go with this program, then look to see while you're on the program, what happens to everything else, right? Your mood, your energy, your sleep, your appetite, your bowel movements, your menstrual cycle, your sex drive, everything. Because this is a fundamentally holistic program. The intention here is to have positive impacts across the board because that's how holistic medicine works. And remember, we want to see results. We want to see something positive happen in the first four weeks. So give it a run. Give me a call back whenever you feel so inclined and tell me how you're doing with your progress. Okay, thank you, Dr. Glidden. All right, Patty, I appreciate your patience. appreciate your trust. Thank you very much for the phone call. 